Hi everyone, 10 News reporter Madison Allworth here in Kathleen. Um, we are at another location here with the church and I'm with Pastor Matt, we're gonna bring him in. Here's Pastor Matt. Um, so Matt, I'm gonna flip this around, but let me... Um, okay, so I'm gonna show so people can see. Just tell me what we are looking at right now um, and what that space was used for here at the church. So that is formerly the church's um, pastorium or where the pastor would live. I'm the pastor of the church, but my wife and I don't live there anymore. We did for about seven years. So currently we've been using it as our ministry center, which is where we house our food bank at. Uh, we partner with Feeding Tampa Bay out of Brandon and we, um, we get the food delivered on Wednesday and then on Thursday mornings we open up a food bank. So we have anywhere from 175 to 250 families come through every week and, and they probably leave with 40 or 50 pounds of food from meats and vegetables, milk, dairy. The Florida Baptist Children's Home is a partner as well. They send stuff over. Uh, we get a produce truck and we're also a USDA food provider. And so all of that is stored in that house. And then it's distributed on these pallets over here. And, um, and then we do it every week. And we have a team of about 20, 25 faithful volunteers that come out every week and unload the truck, put it in the house, and the next morning distribute it to the families. And so um, that building is, is a total loss. And so we're gonna have to figure out where to, where to do that food ministry at now. So yeah, just run through those numbers. We, there was a lot of information there. Yeah. How many, how many meals are you getting? How many families is so this serving? We're giving away like um, packages of ground beef and chicken and vegetables. They go to shop at this uh, on the pallets. Um, anywhere from one about 175 to 250 families. It varies week to week. Um, so we're not cooking the meals. We're just giving them the food. Um, but the Florida Baptist Children's Home gives us food. Feeding Tampa Bay. We buy it from them and we uh we turn around and, and distribute it to the the families and your concern now i mean tell me I, i'm people on this video are now seeing this but yeah. you've been here like Ele you said since the sun came up yes. right so what what has happened to this structure here that we're taking a look at so when i got here this morning at about one o'clock the roof was already gone it's in pieces kind of all over um in fact the roof over here is actually the neighbor's roof it's not even the roof off oh. of that house that's miss linda's roof um, so that's part of it. But since this morning, the ceiling has begun to collapse on the inside and it has destroyed. I think everything on the inside is destroyed. The shelves and uh, we have wooden shelves for to store the food and all that kind of stuff, some tables in there. Um, and then the cool room, which is over on the left, it's, it's going to be destroyed. I mean, the whole building is, is a total loss. Yeah. yeah. And so the church itself, which is behind us here, yeah. we're seeing the back of it. Um, some of the what, what was some of the damage there so we have a tree on the back on the roof i'm not real sure of the damage there yet um and then on the edge of the roof like all the aluminum face pieces that cover the wood uh, the front door is jammed and the front porch over the front steps of the church it looks like um that's going to have to come down or somebody's going to do something because we've lost one of four pillars already um, and we'll have to um, see what's going to happen at that point. And we've got four broke, five broken windows, two in the sanctuary, and then three in the main, in the back building. So we've got water damage on the inside as well. Right. And I'm going to flip this again so people can see. So definitely in terms of um, water damage, potential roof damage, potential porch damage, all in the church itself. And then here for this building where you ran um, your food services out of, yeah. this is where you would say the most damage has been sustained. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And not only... Not only for the church because it is our it's the ministry that we do it's our biggest ministry of the church but for the families that we give food to um, from our community and that's that is really uh, the first thing when I got the phone call last night that the ministry center was gone my one of my first thoughts was how am I gonna get food to these 200 people um, that's that's what I got to figure out that's once I get this yard cleaned up and we figure out church and, and all that then I start figuring out where I can do that um, you know Obviously, it won't be this week, but we've got to get it back open to help those families. Right. So fortunate in the sense of you get the food on Wednesday, you serve on Thursday. Yeah. So in terms of the serving space, the, the refrigerator space you think is totally damaged, shelving yeah. is damaged, all of that. Um, but hopefully not too much loss of actual food. But you have to turn around quickly. Yeah. There's, there's not much food in there because we give it all away. We get it on Wednesday. We give it, The goal is to give it all away on Thursday. There's a little bit left in there that we have. Um, if we get a call about a need that um, a, a family is in desperate need, then we, we have a little bit of a supply to give to them. Um, but yeah, the uh, 
everything in there is going to be is going to be gone. So, you know, whether it's a truck that holds the refrigerated truck that I can park here and then give it away on Thursday, that would be an option for us. Um, but until I kind of get it cleaned up, you know, kind of step one is getting all this cleaned up. Do you mind um, taking us a little closer? No. Nope. So I'll be walking here, guys. It might be a little uh, jumbly, but Matt's leading the way. Um, yeah, and there's nails everywhere. That's the scary thing when you're coming through this. These are pieces of roof. Um, yeah, those those are the pallets where the food would be set out on. He's making his way. All right, he's waiting for me. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, look, you can just see there's wires here, piping, the parts of roof. Thank you very much. Oh my goodness. Uh, all this wood, look at all of this here. Do we know what this is from? This is like a- yes, this is the corner of the porch that's gone off the ministry center. This is oh, wow. on the carport. All right, so we're heading that's towards okay. the ministry center. Thank you. And there's a wire here. Okay, yep. Yeah. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh gosh. Okay. So just a lot. Oh, we're going inside. Okay. So right, food pantry hours, you still have the sign here. Yeah. Oh wow. So that ceiling's come down. That's all happened this morning. Um, we have four of these industrial freezers like this. Two, one here, one there. Yeah. Two over there. Oh, you can see those that are just um, covered. Yeah. And, and then around the corner are some shelves and the refrigerator. And it's just a home that we, we use to, to minister to our family. Yeah. To, to the community. So, um, yeah. Right. It's just, if you guys can see in the video, we're not going to go too far in. Oh, be careful because I don't know how the ceiling is here. Yeah, that one's pretty bad. And it's just completely open oh. there. The ceiling is just, the roof is gone. You can see there's water coming in here. Yeah, be careful. I, I don't know how solid. <laughs> and you can see the roof is caving in here so i would not yeah go in here uh obviously water coming down here you can see the puddles it's just raining inside and then the back half is just completely opened what did you think when you um came out here this morning i saw it last night in the dark but seeing it this morning and like it's real and I've had churches reaching out to me. Our director of missions for the South Florida Baptist Association has reached out to me and uh, they're offering their assistance. Um, Florida Baptist Convention, Dr. Tommy Green has reached out to me and said, you know, we're here for y'all. Um, it's just right now assessing the damage. Um, you can see on the back side of the church, those windows are knocked um, yeah, out. That's, that's our youth room actually right there. Um, so we've got the support. It's just a matter of waiting for the, um, the, uh, you know, to get cleaned up and start over, and right. we're not gonna we're not gonna stop doing what we do. Um, it just becomes a new way of doing what we've always done, and uh, we're gonna find a way to, to love our community. And I preached Wednesday night a sermon called "When Opportunity Knocks." I think this is our opportunity to love the community, to to show them how to respond and how to to do well. And um, you know, we're praying. And we're glad that Miss Linda was okay, and um, just gonna we're gonna do what we always do, and. Uh, all of this can be replaced. All of it can be thrown away. Um, we're glad that there weren't any, uh, you know, lives lost as far as I know. And I'm praying for those if there were. Yes, absolutely. And that's, I think, the, the hard thing. Fortunately, so far, um, considering the amount of damage that we've seen around town, um, have not heard of any of those reports, but it's still early. Yeah. Which is, um, but definitely, exactly. Yeah. And so it is good. Definitely things can be replaced. But when you look at this, I mean, there's a roof in the yard that's roof. oh my that's our shed this ministry trailer is got our bounce house platform machines where we do block parties and ministry to the community um, we've got a couple of barbecue grills that we, we do fundraisers and, and stuff like that everything just flipped upside down so yeah and this tree created a huge canopy beautiful shade it's where we did the food ministry here it's because we had shade all the way out here to the right. side and well, you so, can tell it's a big tree because it is now covering half of the lawn. The yard, yeah. Exactly. All right. So we're going to sign off here. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, guys. I'm going to flip this back on me real quick. You can come in with me. <clears throat> all right. So thank you guys so much for watching. Again, uh, Channel 10 Reporter Madison Allworth. We've been out here um, all morning just taking a look at everything. Fortunately, no lives lost, but definitely a lot of damage here. So please stay tuned to Channel 10 online, on our app, on air. We'll keep you updated. Um, you know, 
hoping the good news remains that we're not seeing Absolutely. a lot of injury, but we'll, we will keep you updated. And thank you all for watching.